Good day, everyone, and welcome to episode 32, season 2, in our series on transport fever. And we're starting off today's episode with the uh, underground roadway that we put in near the new freight hub at Rugby. And any tick of the clock now, we should see our brand new black 40-ton trucks whizzing through. Whizzing, I said. Whoa, a bit of whiz. Wasn't that exciting. Uh, I'm underwhelmed. I don't think the truckage is going to match up to what we're looking forward to every episode when we see trains. So uh, that's that's a little on the disappointing side. Oh, we can't even go into the tunnel. That's even worseness. But something's coming. Yeah, it's nice, but it's not a train line. But there you go. Okay, well, that's our tunnel. And things are going well. We've got oil there. And... In our last episode, we got the uh, crude oil running down. Oh, and have we got more coming? Yeah, we got 33 out of 90 on its way down to the Geary something or other. Geary something or other, which is uh, further down here. And we've got fuel waiting to go back. Now, first of all, we want to see when our fuel arrives if the train in fact will pick up uh, sorry when the crude arrives whether our train in fact will pick up the fuel that's here and also i would like to tell you that i changed the configuration of the line to not just unload but to load if available when it gets to geary east so that is going to be a help. Now also, we're going to look at the trucks that are running down this line here because they have got to be really old and decrepit. And they, um, they have got to be online, Geary Sidings Oil. Uh, oh wait a minute! We got some, we got some uh, we got some trainage coming in. Now this is going to be interesting because this is part of the service. This train that just came in here. This is part of the service that we're going to disband because we want that service to run out of the rugby freight hub. Lovely, lovely. Now this guy, he's got 33 crude out of 90. And we're going to... No, he didn't pick up any... He did not pick up any uh, fuel. Would that be because I wondered that we don't have a fuel delivery to there? It's quite possible. We may have to run separate fuel trucks. All right, we need to be doing this for a start. Uh, and this is the Geary Sidings Oil run. Um, we are going to need to check the vehicles. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's about right. We are going to go and get some replacements going on here. And uh, you'll never guess what. It's going to be 40 tons. Black in colour. And anything goes, right? Right. And I think we'll we'll turn you on and we'll replace you now. 
Actually, where do they? I wonder if they get replaced inside the depots. He's carrying. Oh, he's carrying zero six. Yay! Didn't pick anything up. How many have we got here? One. 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 And Twenty. One. Is it really one? That's got zero. One. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I don't think it's going to pick up the fuel. I don't think it's going to pick up the fuel. How many have we got there now? 54. Well, we can continue. We can get another one and just do um, do fuel. Now, once we've done the fuel, then we need to start delivering it. And we need to bring it back down to here. We do have we do have some lines in that we can use actually to do this with but I am going to buy another train uh, oh actually you know that's that's me being silly but what kind of what kind of engine are you Sorry, apart from the fact that you're electric. You're not going to tell me, are you? Class 1042. Well, you did tell me. That's very nice of you. By trains. Class 1042. Uh, color. Black, of course. I don't know why people ask me questions like that. One, oh, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six. But you, you are going to be fuel. And you're going to go on a different line. See, this is now where the complication start coming in, starts coming in. Well, very good. Very good, I don't think. Okay, so you are going to be... Bum, bum, bum. TG... T G Geary Fuel One C that's that's impressive. Bet you none bet none of you saw that coming. So it goes from there all the way down to what might loosely be described as here all the way back up to here but very importantly coming in on this and then going there up oh, try no we don't need that it's redundant and this one this one is unload and this one is pick up right mm. 
नया ओ शुड डबल चेक दें we need to double check that it actually goes on both lines in the one direction yes so we've got two trains two lines sharing the tr same track and so no we're not going to upgrade the station we are going to assign a line to TG Geary Fuel 1 and we we should have the guy coming out right now oh nice yeah very nice all right let's see how we go because there's some well we're sharing the track so hopefully these guys are going to work themselves out so that it all works well well that's what you want 75 getting up there in speed yep Um, uh, uh, oh, that's a better view. Yeah, I like that view. Yeah, see, here we've got single track. Now, where is the other train? Oh, just keep an eye, too, on the money, because at the moment, 492 million. Gosh, I love that black. The black on those tankers looks really cool. Oh, tunnel, excellent. Although I suspect we're gonna ride over the grass. Okay, doing pretty well. Oh, here comes the other train. Nice bit of passing. Now, have you got anything? No, nothing. Didn't pick anything up. Okay. Now this guy, hopefully he's going to pick up quite a bit of um, fuel. Now, is there any fuel here to pick up? Yep. There is. But is it allocated for us? No. All right. Now, this means that we're going to have to start cleaning up this line. So, we've got a freight depot there and a freight depot in there. We can run a single train. Now, let's see if we can do this. We can run a single train out of here, across here, goes down that way and goes over that way. Yep, we can do that. All right, so 
what we are going to do is get this guy and when he crosses into this area over here we're going to send him back to the depot for selling when he crosses over and he's completely in the line like now yep now as soon as he reaches there we can delete this and this track here all the way back to but to the depot here now that doesn't mean we won't run out of here later on but for now that's what we're going to do and meanwhile we're up to 66 in crude and now have you got any in there for geary no none Yeah, no. Okay. So first of all, we are going to delete these lines. TG Geary Fuel. CG Geary Fuel. Which is that one. And guess what? You are gone. The infamous bulldozer is out. This is where we get a bit fancy. And we are going to run. Tell you what, why don't we run one line south and one now? Hang on, let's think about this for a minute. We can truck to there. Yes. We come out here, we turn right there, we do, we do all the way down, now we do all the way down, across, and into Wellington. But to get to Wellington, we have to go there. No, we won't do Wellington. We'll do... Will we? I think we... Sh yes, we'll do... Geary. Yes. Then we'll come... We'll do... One Garvin, and then on a separate run, yeah, on a separate run, we'll do Dubbo. Yeah, we won't worry about over there. We'll do Dubbo. Yep, okay. And we can do that all out of one line, I think. Pretty much. Uh, we don't need the the Structo button. Thank you very much.
Yeah, that worked very well, didn't it? Pretty sure it did. Now, where do we want to branch out? Where's the st Oh, I didn't realise it was on the curve. That's a bit tricky. That is going to be tricky. Wonder if... Putting the station in there is going to be a bit dodgy. What if we swing out here and then come back? How's that look? Oh, it's doable, that's for sure. And what we could end up with is some stone. Stone Stone and slag Stone or slag make construction materials. So let's have oh, whoa don't do that. Stone and or slag make construction materials. Let's think about this for a minute. Okay, so now we have a new plan. We're going to go and collect stone. And we're going to run it across there. Past our airport. To... Well, if we do that, we might as well open up. We might as well open up a train service. Why not, right? Uh, um, very high bridge. Now, what's going on here? That is going to be a problem. Why is there a lump there anyway? Hmm. Um. doesn't solve my fuel problem. Though. I'm getting distracted. I should be solving the fuel problem. Please focus on the problem at hand. I think what we're going to need is a new station. In fact, I'm very sure that's what we're going to need. Uh, and now, where is your station, right, and you are bringing in things which you haven't brought in for a long time. Uh, where? I just need to double check um, where we are going to send our fuel. Do, 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 do. Just going to the wiki and checking it out now. Industrial district. So, hmm, is that the correct cargo? I think we need to move it up so that it covers there more. But yeah, okay, so that's what we're going to do. 
we're going to come down here and hook it up to there and I'm thinking that that is going to work an absolute charm an absolute charm he said mildly concerned at his own abilities to function in this way and that looks pretty good so that's what we'll do all right so let's fix this up first by first of all pausing the game finding our friend the bulldozer and uh, using it to great effect and uh, putting in a what might loosely be described as a station with as it turns out a small dog leg in the tracks but not a bad one so we hook you up like that and quite possibly like that to our truck depot now the previous truck depot was the one carbon fuel Right, so we're going to um, we are, you know we most assuredly are could almost play spinning tops with that We're going to reroute one carbon fuel to go from to go from right how does that look well it doesn't look all right Maybe not. Why don't we add? Well, we could try it out. I mean, it's not going to hurt. Uh, it looks like it's right. Yeah. What are the vehicles? Very old very old replacement three of those they need to be black sorry three of those they need to be black yes on and um, also replace now thank you now the next stage of the cunning and somewhat devious plan is to run this track kind of parallel to that track oh, but not quite like that there's an art to this which I just haven't quite got yet but I I like to think I'm working on it now can we in fact join up there I think we can 
Okay, how's that looking? Not good. Now, how's that grab you? Does that grab everyone pretty well? I think it grabs everyone beautifully, in fact. And so what we have here is an ideal situation. where we are possibly, yep, I know, possibly we should put one in here for later, just in case. You never know when you're going to need it. So we're going to create a new line. The fun and adventure never stops. So it's TG Crude Oil to Geary, TG Geary fuel one so this is going to be a new line and we're going to call this one tg geary no one carbon geary F F F U E L. That that sounds right. Okay. And we need you to go from here to here. Back to now. Do we want single track? I'm going to go with yes to there and then to there and then to there and then. Back to this waypoint, and that's that. So, but what we're going to do is we're going to go from Rugby Freight Hub to One Garbon Exchange, unload, then back to the Freight Hub, and then Geary South, unload. <laughs> And to make this work, we're going to give you our fade. No, we're not because we don't have this set up now. So we need to set this up. So first of all, we're going to go across you like so like we did before and then we are going to go like so did that actually work no it did not work you lied to me you did not work That's worked, and that of course did not work. You've got to watch out for these rails, they'll lie to you. Just when you think you got things going, they'll be like, no, no, you didn't get me going. Hmm. 
feel like I should probably move that. But I'm I'm just going to stay with that for now. Um, and make sure that I've got... Yep, that's a section, that's a section. And if you're going to go that way, you need that. And if you're going to go this way, you need that. And you need that. Uh, sorry, that. Uh, and you might need this here. Just in case. Okay, so now this is going to be exciting. We're going to get uh, a 1042 in black. I'm going to buy one of you. We're going to get six of you in black. And we are going to set the line to Wangabungiri fuel. And then uh, we might just remove these and we might start that. And we might actually have something happening because we are very keen to see this guy in operation. Oh, and he's even taking the path that we want him to take too. All right, we are going to speed this up because I really want to make sure that this works, everybody. Now, there won't be any fuel here. We're not expecting there to be any. But we are expecting that once we start the circuit, fuel will be delivered to the Rugby Freight Hub. That's what we want to see. And in fact, um, yeah, no, that's what we want to see. Because this will complete the full circuit using the crude oil and the fuel. Right, now that should create the complete flow from crude oil delivery to refinery, fuel back to the halfway point and then to the end destination, which will be the train station then delivered via the new trucks that we put in going to the towns. That's the plan anyway. So we should be able then to just slow this down for a second. Now, are you... Now, I think you should be picking up... Yeah, you should be, you should be picking up the fuel and bringing it back, if I am not mistaken. I'd be freight hub unload, load if available, yep. So if we go down all the way down here, we should have fuel, crude oil to Geary, and fuel one. Oh, is the other train picking it up now as well? Nice, okay. Well, that's certainly going to help with the throughput. Let's see. 53 crude. So 21, 22 and 23 are the trains involved in this. Let's just go up to two for a minute. This is the crude oil to Geary line. Now, if he is bringing crude oil to Geary, I don't see any reason why we can't change around the TG Geary Fuel 1 to carry fuel as well. Let's keep an eye on this and see what happens. Of 
record in 53 and he's picking up 25 so you know what I'm going to do I am going to modify your line so that you can do both in the same way that you can do both and then let's see how that goes now also when he gets back we should start seeing some fuel up here so let's speed up so he's going to the rugby freight hub he's going to Geary East and he's going to the freight hub well it's unlikely that uh, he will get there after this guy so uh, I think we're going to have to have another couple of runs before we get some fuel going out. Yeah, he came in before the other guy. So that's fine. We're bringing in total, uh, what have we got? We've got 60, 72. We have 72 fuel coming back in. So that's a pretty good haul for us. Yeah, nice. Okay, that is nice. Nine and sixteen. Okay. Okay, that's better. Over seventy now. Very nice. We're gonna get a full load out. Coming into the rugby freight depot. Oh, this is exciting. Let's, let's position ourselves for some trainage. Mm, that looks, that looks, whoa, there we go. All right, slow that right down. He's coming in empty. And he's picking up 23, okay. Twenty-three out of thirty. Why twenty-three out of thirty? I don't know. Ah, because it's divided out up between different towns. That's why. Okay, that's fine. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to watch this guy, this guy right here, train number twenty-three, because when he comes into the station. That will be a successful use of the Rugby Freight Hub and it will also be the successful establishment of our crude oil uh, to fuel service. Now we haven't included Dubbo yet, we do have to include Dubbo. That will be our next episode. The wonderful episode 3-3. But we're just going to watch this guy uh, go in, but we might just speed him up till he gets to the station. Pull ahead two thirds. Here we go, this is where we joined into the line. And we'll just, uh, we'll just get ready to slow down now. Yep, here we go. The excitement is palpable. You know, you would have thought for the first delivery in our new line, people would have come out to see us, but no. $654,000. None too shabby. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a successful delivery. And uh, actually, you know what? Let's just, um, let's just do this. Whoa, getting giddy, just looking around. 
Yep, load up. Here we go. We will follow the fuel right into the industrial district. And it's even more important because we're driving on the wrong side of the road. Now, you may say, but that's not right. Everyone drives on the right-hand side of the road. No, they don't. No, it turns out that the left-hand side of the road is where you want to be driving on. Just ask any Australian, they'll tell you. Fascinating view of the town you get when you drive around. Whoa, bumps. All right, that's it from door to door, ladies and gentlemen. A very successful episode. And what's even more amazing is I haven't botched anything up. At least not that we found out about yet, but there's always next episode. So you never know. Uh, we're 46 minutes in. Thank you all very much for joining me today. I hope you have enjoyed the episode and I hope you stay well until you return in your articulated lorry for the next episode in Transport Fever. So until then, I'll see you all later. Bye.